Now, there are many reasons why you might want to shorten your links. Some important reasons are to display your URLs so that they look neater across different channels, as well as for tracking link clicks. And there are many link shorteners that you can choose from that will simply generate unique short links for you. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another brief tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through how to shorten URLs using two leading link shortener tools that you can simply use for free. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started with this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that out the way, let's go ahead and dive into this link shortener tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay, so the first free link shortening tool that we're going to cover today is called Bitly. To arrive at Bitly, simply head over to bitly.com and that's going to take you here. And then simply navigate over to get started for free. And today we're just going to cover Bitly's free plan, which is sufficient enough for small businesses. You can see that with Bitly's free plan, you have up to 100 short links that you can create each month as well as having no limitation on clicks. And this is important when you create unique short links and use throughout all your different channels and platforms. And this way you will never have to replace your links because you have access to unlimited clicks. So go ahead and click get started. Go ahead and take your time to sign up and we'll meet you inside Bitly. And once you have taken the time to create your free Bitly account, you will arrive inside your Bitly dashboard. Then what we want to do is navigate up to create to create our first link. Then come down here and paste in your long URL that you want to shorten. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, an example of a long URL that I want to shorten within Bitly is a Google document link that I need to send to our prospects. And this is a document that our prospects need to fill out before we onboard them as a potential customer. As you can see, the URL is incredibly long, so I want to shorten this URL so that our link displays a lot neater when we send this link via email. Simply come down to source and add a source. So for us, this is a Google document. We could also just add Google if we wanted to, then come down to medium and add a medium. For us, we're gonna add email because we're gonna use this link in our email. Then come down to campaign and this is where you want to name your link campaign. And for our own reference, we're gonna call this website requirements because that's the name of the Google document. And then to create your short link, simply come down and click create. Then what you want to do is add a title for your new link for your own reference. And then simply come down to customize back half. This essentially allows us to add our branding into the back half of the link that we just created. At the moment, you can see that our link will look like this. What we want to do is add branding to the back half of this custom link. To do that, simply click on your link and highlight the back half of this link. And depending on your URL end destination, so basically where this link is going to take your visitors, you want to make sure that the branding resonates with the link destination. So again, for us, I'm just going to add website requirements. Okay, so once you've added your own branding to your bit.ly link, simply come down and this is where you can add a tag. This allows you to essentially manage all your different short URLs, especially if you're creating close to the 100 link limits per month. We're gonna leave that for now and come down and click save. Now, if you get this error message up here, the custom link is taken. That means someone else has already created a bit.ly link with this back half customization. And that means you need to modify your back half variation. I'm going to go ahead and add my company name at the end of this URL. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try that again by clicking save. And as you can see, just like that, we have created our own bit.ly custom URL link. 
Now what we want to do is test this link by simply clicking copy to copy the link and then exit out of this and we can come down here and we can view our link that we just created. As you can see, this is the shortened URL, the shortened link, and this is the original link up here. We can also edit the URL if we like, and we can go ahead and copy the URL again if we haven't done so already. And what I'm going to do is test this link by adding this link into our browser. And as you can see in my browser, I've gone ahead and added the new link that we just created. What I'm going to do is hit enter, and that's going to take me to my destination URL. In our case, it is our website requirements document that we send to our potential customers. Okay, so we can now confirm that the link works. Now what I'm going to do is head back to our bit.ly dashboard. And as you can see back on our bit.ly dashboard, you can see basic analytics in regards to the performance of our new links. For example, if we navigate up here, you can see that on Tuesday, the 1st of Feb, we had one link click. And we can also navigate over to the far left hand side where we can see the total number of clicks. We can see the top referrer and we can also see the location of clicks. Okay, so that is how you can make the most of Bitly's free plan to shorten your URLs. And now what we're going to do is head over to tinyurl.com, which is another URL shortener tool that we recommend for our clients that want access to a more basic tool. So head over to tinyurl.com and that will take you here. Then simply come down and click create free account. Simply go ahead and add your name, email address, password, and then click create an account. As you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added my details. Now I'm going to click create an account. Then navigate over to the free plan and click select. Then once you've verified your email, you'll be taken back here. Simply add your long URL up here. Then come down and click make tiny URL. Then simply come down and click copy to clipboard and then simply paste your new URL across your different channels. Then come down and click my URLs and then simply navigate over to the far right hand side where you can see basic information about all your tiny URLs that you've created. You can also visit your URL and also rename your new URL and if you want you can go ahead and copy your new URL again and distribute that across all your different channels and platforms. So just like that, you now know how to shorten your links using these two tools. Remember, bit.ly.com is a more advanced URL shortener that allows you to track basic analytics as well as add your own branding to the end portion of your shortened URL. And tiny URL is a more streamlined and basic version to shorten your URLs. So go ahead and get started with tinyurl.com or bit.ly.com to start shortening and tracking your links. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief link shortening guide. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.